Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we're taking a look at the Udo SP set for Lupin Ranger vs. Pato Ranger. Yes, I know it's a bit of a long time coming for these, but I'm finally trying to get through the backlog of Sodo and Udo and Model Kits, Mini Plot, all that good stuff. So, diving in here, there are four different ones. Uh, the first one is Super Lupin Red. The sides of the box don't really have too much going on. Neither do the tops or bottoms. Uh, but on the back you can see it is the three characters and then the item parts set and it shows the line up here. So number two is Super Lupin X. Number three is the item parts. So you have the uh, scissor and shield weapon part. You have the... Um, man, it's been a minute since I've seen Lupin Ranger. <laughs> um, magic. And I think this is just called Fire, and then also the Loop and Magnum connected to the VS Changer. So all those accessories are in this pack. And then you get another Podeman. Um, basically, before the Podeman, and then his sword was included in the item set. So now they just put his items in the box with him. Somehow that makes him SP. I don't know. <laughs> it's just... Uh, it's another Podeman, basically. It's not really anything too exciting about him, but wanted to show you the boxes real quick. I'm going to go ahead and get these uh, built stickers applied and all that, and we'll take a closer look. So here are the three new figures and the item pack. Uh, we'll start over here with the Podeman just because he's not that exciting. He's exactly the same as the Podeman from the previous set. Stickers are the same. Accessories are the same. Just that the accessories came in the separate accessory pack previously. Now they are actually included in the same box with the Podeman. So stickers, everything, detailing, he is the same. He just now comes with his weapons packaged in the box with him. But I mean, he's good. I mean, if you want to army build, if you have one or multiples from the previous wave, you can now have another one to add to your collection. Uh, articulation is pretty much what you'd expect for a Sodo Yudo figure ball joint in the shoulder you have a bicep swivel pretty much 180 degrees in the elbow there uh, the fist actually pops out so of course it just completely swivels around because it's just a peg there you have a flap in the shoulder so as not to uh, impede the shoulder articulation head can go from side to side and up and down uh, ball joint in the hip thigh swivel 90 degrees in the knee and ball joint in the ankle so Nothing too uh, new or thrilling there, but still a solid Udo figure. The Podeman does look pretty good. Putting him off to the side, for whatever reason, mine never wants to stand, but maybe he'll be good. Uh, next, we'll take a look at Super Lupin X. I always thought it was weird that uh, Lupin X got this power up. I loved when they finally let uh, Patra and Ichigo have it in one of the few, last few episodes. But it does look good here. Uh, stickers pretty good. These guns on the shoulders can come off if you so desire. They're just pegged in. So if you wanted to take them off, you certainly could. But otherwise, uh, again, same articulation I just outlined in the Podeman figure. Quite a few stickers uh, all around the bands. The uh, shin here is a sticker. Large sticker here on the wrist. Even has some stickers on the inside of kind of the arm and armpit. Uh, just to give a little contrast of color there. But overall I think what you're left with does look pretty good. And if you wanted to set it up so that you had the other figures uh, holding on to the uh, joystick thing. You can't quite do it because the hands don't open. But you could kind of position them next to it and, and pretend they're doing it. Unfortunately, they don't. Uh, they can't really do it because they don't have open fists. It's just fists with pegs. Peg holes, I should say. No, he doesn't want to stand. But yeah, overall, I do think he looks good. And again, same articulation. But yeah, this guy this guy looks nice. The uh, The gold here on the chest is actually paint. So that is not a sticker, which is nice. All right, next up, we'll take a look at Super Lupin Red. So again, he looks good. Silver on the chest is paint. 
Uh, these little gold circles are stickers and they were a little difficult to get on because they always give you the kind of circle that you stick on the top and then you have to like fold the edges around all the way down. And those just don't always stick that great for me. I'm probably just doing it wrong. But the visor is actually painted as well, but the mouth and the red down here is a sticker. And then you have these uh, kind of cape pieces. Two are connected to the shoulder pads. Two are just pegged into the back. You can unpeg them if you want. They just peg in. And these, uh, I guess, jet pieces? Because <laughs> it was Victory Striker that he used to attain this form. Uh, they peg in as well. If you wanted to unpeg those, you certainly could. Everything else is a sticker. Uh, again, same articulation as the rest of the figures. The shoulder pads impede the arm articulation slightly, but it's really not too bad. So I think he looks good. I think they did a nice job with this form. As far as the weapons, uh, standard Soto base here, stand, whatever you want to call it, if you're familiar with Soto figures at all. Here you know it, because of his cape. Of course, just knock everyone over. <laughs> we'll show it off here with Lupin X. But, uh, you know, if you're familiar at all with Soto stands, it's just a Soto stand. Nothing exciting. You can either peg it in there, right behind uh, the butt in the back of the waist there. Or you can uh, peg it in to the bottom of the foot. There is a peg on the front of the stand. So, whichever you prefer, you can peg them in or you can... Uh, use the stand if you have some kind of aerial pose you want them to accomplish. So that's pretty much it for the stand. But we will use uh, Super Loop and Red here to demonstrate all of these accessories. Uh, so first up, here I'll, I'll detail them all out first, and then I'll show them all being held. But here is a VS Changer with the Loop and Magnum attached. So you can see how the gun's on the side. And the sticker, it's not perfect, but I just have a hard time attaching stickers to super three-dimensional objects, but I think it came out all right. Here is the weapon for uh, Magic Dial Fighter. Couple stickers, but they actually look pretty good in my opinion. Here is the weapon for the Splash Trigger Machine. And this one I actually think came out the best. I just got lucky and the sticker wrapped around really nice, especially here on the nozzle. That's one sticker. I did not expect that to turn out well, but I feel like it, it did. And then uh, the last up is the uh, scissor. What is this one called? Scissor and shield, I guess. I'm not quite sure, but uh, he has the bottom jet for the shield. And then you have the giant uh, kind of triangle sword weapon. And I think both of these look pretty good. So this is one giant sticker. And then this is just kind of these couple accent stickers. But overall I think they look pretty good. So I wanted to show off quick how these work. Uh, a lot of these you have to actually take the hand out. And they have pegs on the inside that will peg into the like wrist slots. So that's how you equip the shield. And then the giant... Uh, blade weapon just kind of pegs into one of the fists you can actually see that it can peg on either side so like if you wanted to bring this around so that it faces the outside probably would look better so there you go you have your sword and shield which I think this actually looked pretty cool I like that quite a bit so there we go uh, next up we'll have super loop and X here help us demonstrate some weapons this is the uh, Trigger Machine Splash, which again, you just peg that in. Now, he might actually have a little difficulty because of his giant wrist thing, but no, it actually works fine. I think you're supposed to uh, have this come around and hold on to that, but let's see. Can we get it to do it? Yeah, there you go. You can kind of get it. I'm sure if I took a second and tried harder, but you get the idea. So there he has the fire extinguisher power up. 
and then we'll bring the, the podium in and I'll just take his hands off <laughs> completely. Uh, this is the uh, magic dial fighter. Again, you just unpeg the hand. Oh, actually, you know what? He can't. His wrist is too big. That's a safety feature, so you can't have any podium in using your your special weapons. So put that off to the <laughs> side. So I'll bring this guy back and we'll take this off temporarily. Um, you can go ahead, unpeg the fist, and then just peg in the magic dial fighter weapon. And there you go. And if you have the previous sets with Ichigo, Nigo, Sango, Lupin Red, Blue, Yellow, of course any of those figures can use these as well. And then we have the, whoops, uh, here we go. We got the, the Podeman can do this one. We'll give him the VS Changer uh, with the Magnum attached. And again, you would have the second hand come and hold on to this piece. Or I guess you could do it like that if you wanted. It's not really how it's supposed to work. But you have the VS Changer in this hand. And then you would have the second hand. Let's see if I can... For some reason, this weapon is always very difficult to peg in. And especially difficult to unpeg because of the way it wedges in there. You can see how <laughs> it really wedges in there. And there's a tiny peg on the inside. Whoop, there we go. Okay. So there's a tiny peg on the inside which fits into the hand. And then it's very difficult to get out after that. So we would take this. This would theoretically come over here if I can get this to work well you get the idea the other hand would peg in there to hold on to the magnum and then they would fire I think this is a really nice set I mean with the exception of the Podeman not really being anything new and them just kind of throwing another Podeman at you and acting like including his accessories with him which is kind of what they should have done from the beginning and acting like that's a big deal not really that impressive, but I do really enjoy uh, Super Lupin X and Super Lupin Red. I think both of those figures came out great. They do have some paint, and the stickers they give you make it look top-notch by the time you're all done. And I really do like the item accessory pack. I think the sword and the shield are my favorite of the accessories, but the extinguisher, the... Uh, I'm still not even quite sure what this is supposed to be. Maybe some kind of crossbow-like weapon? Uh, for magic and then of course the VS changer with the loop and magnum attached I think all those accessories are nice and definitely can trick out some of the figures that you have uh, Previously or just be used with the ones in this wave as well. Uh, also, you get a random uh, Stand which you know, like I said, if, you, if you're no stranger to Soto figures, you probably have a ton of these already anyway So have an extra stand, but I definitely think at least these two figures are definitely worth picking up and I would even advise picking up the accessory pack because I do think there's some nice stuff in there. The Podeman, if you want another one, great. If you have one already, skip it. Not a big deal. Not that there's anything wrong with him. He's just nothing new. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always, thanks so much for watching.